Hello everyone, welcome back. I know a lot of things have been happening in the AI space and I haven't gotten around to all of them, but I promise I am making my rounds. I am going to look at everything. Most notably, we have releases from Mixtral AI. We have releases from Suno AI, specifically V3 Alpha, which I'll probably do a live stream on. And today, Ideogram released Ideogram 1.0, which is actually a very good and very competitive model. They claim to be the best, in fact. So we'll see how it stacks up against the likes of the entirely unreleased Stable Diffusion 3 that blew our minds last week, and of course the two big kings, Midjourney V6 and Dolly 3. This is just out for everybody to use, right here on the Ideogram website. State of the art text rendering, historically AI generated text within images has been inaccurate, absolutely true. Ideogram 1.0 addresses this with reliable text rendering capabilities, effortlessly create personalized messages messages, memes, posters, t-shirt designs, etc. Reducing the error rate by almost two times compared to existing models? Meaning Dolly 3 screws up almost twice as much more as this? Okay, I gotta say, these results are looking really promising. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, the, the Albert Einstein quote, that's a lot of words at once. Again, we did see this level of text generation with that Stable Diffusion 3 announcement. Again, that's not a, a model that we can even try out, but we will be comparing it with the images we've seen so far far. Photorealism is unprecedented as well. Yeah, that is definitely accurate. This thing's pretty damn good. Visually striking artistic outputs as well. Yeah, I mean, that's always been true. Looks like they've really upped the detail here. This is quite impressive. Excels at interpreting complex prompts as the examples below demonstrate. Each corresponding image accurately reflects every detail of its prompt. A fascinating family portrait of a solid matte red sphere Christmas present perched atop a blue cube wrapped as a Christmas present with a vivid green Christmas tree standing behind them, a green cloth wrapped around its base, a curious dog is positioned on the right and a cute cat lounges on the left. Wow. And I mean, it's it's accurate to that. That is a difficult prompt. Maybe the most difficult we've ever tested. Like, I don't, I would not expect a single image generator to get that correct. I want to try this right now. We'll do 16 by 9 for both Midjourney and Dolly 3. All right, so first up, here are the images we got from Midjourney. Again, okay, we definitely have a dog on the right and a cat on the left, but we've got another cat in the middle. We don't see the cloth or the base even on the Christmas tree. The sphere is not wrapped as a Christmas present, although they are all matte. And I would say that the blue cube here at the bottom, none of them are really wrapped like Christmas presents. They're more of just like these green cubes. I mean, that is nowhere near this level of prompt comprehension though. Okay, and we can see some issues as well with Dolly 3. You know, we got two dogs on each side. We got the matte sphere. It's not wrapped up. Again, the the interesting part here is that wildly, there's more similarities between Dolly 3's image and Midjourney V6's images in comparison to the Ideogram 1.0. All right, guys, I got to know how good this actually works in practice. Ideogram 1.0. Oh, no way. No way. <laughs> No way, dude. No way. That's nearly perfect on all four of these. You're freaking kidding me, right? <laughs> oh my god. That's pretty dang good, dude. Shocking. Okay, I'll admit that the animals are just a little bit fuzzy, a little bit weird. Not the same level of clarity that you might see from Midjourney, for example. Generated fast, generated well. Dude, I'm really, really stinking impressed by that. Holy cow. Okay, and you know, while we're in the interface here, I might as well go over the fact that you can switch between all the models so you can still generate with 0 0.1, 0 0.2, or 1.0. And there's actually more aspect ratios, as you can see here, if you want to generate with uh, 1.0, which is pretty awesome. They've also got something called Magic Prompt, which you can have either on, off, or auto, which is super interesting. I assume that's some sort of prompt management. So if I just, you know, say cat and I set it to on, for example, it's probably going to flesh out my prompt a little bit more than just the singular word cat. Okay, wow, we got a lot of variety here. And I think that's part of, yeah, you can see the Magic Prompt really did some work here. And these are all different, so we have way more variations between them. I like that. We're doing variations here just based off of prompting alone.
And, you know, some of the finer details, I think, classically with Ideogram, you can see they're a little bit more fuzzy, maybe. You know, not exactly that same mid-journey level of sharpness, but this photorealism is pretty darn good. I really like these artistic renditions as well, like, that's a really nice image. Okay, anyways, back to this, let's see. Cinematic, photorealistic portrayal of a rooster made entirely of crispy fried chicken. Its body is covered in a vibrant golden brown crust, drizzled with ketchup, and adorned with perfectly cooked steaming french fries for feathers. Eyes are made of two small round ketchup dots. Its beak is a crispy chicken skin. Dimly lit retro diner in the background. Absolutely true. Wow. Checker tablecloth. That's another insane prompt that I just, I just don't believe it. Like, we gotta, we gotta actually try this. So we'll put that on. We'll turn this off. Let's try just a one by one. And we'll also toss it inside of Dolly 3 and Mid Journey as well. And by the way, for anyone wondering about the testing, every Midjourney V6 image is done in its raw mode because that provides the best coherency. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but Dolly 3 loses again to Ideogram 1.0. We've got a nice retro diner. We've got the striped tablecloth. No ketchup for eyes, though. No skin beak. The wing here is not made of fries. It's not a bad image, but it just doesn't have the rest of what we're looking for, where we absolutely get that with Ideogram. I mean, it's insane. And as we load up our Midjourney V6 image, I have to say we see more of the same here. Maybe there's a little bit more clarity with Midjourney V6, but the coherency is not there in comparison. And I think it's actually worse than Donley 3, especially with this example. It's like covered in ketchup. Kind of a horrifying image, actually, where this one genuinely looks looks pretty appetizing and realistic. And yeah, I gotta say, the hit rate might be a little bit worse than the real example they provide here, but it's absolutely better than Midjourney V6 and Dolly 3. Like, that's, that's freaking insane, dude. Are you kidding me right now? Yeah, only two of these have checkered, but yeah, this one's really, really good. I think this is exactly what we were expecting. Dude, did Eogram just take the crown? Are they just the best in prompt understanding and prompt coherency? Here's some photorealism of a, a two-person portrait. Yeah, I think there's no doubt in my mind that Midjourney absolutely kicked butt with this one. Very realistic renditions. Again, the prompt coherency is definitely not there as much. Dolly 3 didn't do too bad either. You can see, though, like, there's some weirdness in the eyes. It's not perfect. I'd say the realism really is pretty dang on par with both Midjourney and Dolly 3. I think Midjourney definitely takes the cake though, in terms of just producing something that's photorealistic. Human Raiders actually prefer Ideogram 1.0 over Dolly 3 and Midjourney V6 in prompt alignment, coherence, and overall preference. So the magic prompt can assist essentially any prompt you have, and we'll dive into that ourselves, but that's just essentially using a large language model or a GPT to enhance enhance whatever prompt you have and man these images are good okay also guys the huge thing about ideogram i remember is that relatively low safeguards like you could generate famous people you could generate relatively lewd scenes you could generate swears so this thing might actually be the best image generator we have right now point blank period ideogram coming out of the woodwork with something just absolutely mind-blowing okay back to it let's try a prompt of our own i'm really excited now so now i'm gonna go for a classic lemon prompt uh you know what we'll do this in a nice 16 by 9 this should be pretty difficult for the model okay guys i'll admit it's pretty darn good at this too it really has that prompt coherence we specifically asked for the beach ball on the right here and it got that all four times Pretty cool to see the character's eyes get a little bit weird and wonky sometimes. And every single one also holding this green lime drink that was specified in the prompt as well. We got the tropical islands basking in the sun on the beach chair. Again, I think it's just the lemon character is not exactly perfectly coherent. Okay, Midjourney definitely held its own as well. You can see the ball is on the right hand side like we asked for. Got the islands basking in the sun, got the beach chair. I would say that this is at least as good as Ideogram in this example. So maybe Maybe we're not pushing the models hard enough, although in this one he's not holding the lime drink. And oh my god, I cannot believe I'm saying it, but Dolly 3 actually was worse in this example. It was the worst, in fact. Putting the beach ball on the left-hand side, limes are just chilling around for some reason. Lemon character's actually really quite nice, but he's not holding the drink. So this one, I, I like it a 
blonde. It's just the beach ball is in the wrong spot. I want the lemon character to have legs, so let's just give him legs in the prompt. Okay, a little bit closer. Still has all those same coherent details that we were looking for in the original. Although, you know, the anthropomorphic part is really starting to get a little bit creepy. There's a lot of weird twistiness. It's not exactly crossing its legs. Not bad, though. This is a difficult prompt. All right, now we're actually going to try both a famous property and a famous person and see if it's uncensored. Oh my god, guys. It totally is. That is that's incredible. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, dude. That is that is quite incredible, man. All right, well, let's start off with this. Disney Pixar movie poster. Steve Jobs, but he is addicted to eating apples. Do the auto-prompting and actually come up with a title and display it. So I'm going to turn Magic Prompt on, and I'm going to say, come up with the title for the movie and make sure we can read the words. How good, how promptable, how controllable is this Magic Prompt feature? Guys, I just got chills. It's so, so good. Oh my god, so the magic prompt worked, it understood what I was saying, and it made sure that it- Bite me, Apple, the insatiable jobs, like, not only is that clever, but it's all spelled completely right in a realistic fashion, in the way that I would expect. He's just drowning in apples, it's spelled perfectly, the Disney logo is also perfect, as well as the Pixar one. That is unequivocally Steve Jobs, almost perfect at the bottom to the Appleton Odyssey of Steve Jobs. Bitten genius, the appellative journey of Steve Jobs. Wow, dude, it's so good at text. You gotta be kidding me. This is insane, guys. Disney Pixar bite of genius, like actually insane. Text coherence wasn't, uh, I guess text coherence was mentioned in it. I just, yeah, yeah, you can prompt it like that. Create a funny meme about cats. Make a Will Smith movie poster called The Slap. These people really don't look that much like Will Smith. I'd say this one's definitely the best. It looks the most like him and it's called The Slap and like really awesome text like this is probably this is really quite good what if we say make sure it looks like will smith you can just talk to this thing i can't believe how nice it is to like use this interface too it's it's a really just easy way to generate online the magic prompter works shockingly good we can just talk to it like chat gpt and it gets the freaking job done man okay again not exactly will smith here so it might just be a hard person to generate but wow the text is insanely good like i can't believe that it looks like someone else playing will smith in a movie about the slap all right, let's try a logo now. You can lazy prompt this thing to the ends of the earth because Magic Prompt just takes care of it for you. Honestly, a feature I didn't realize I would like so much. <laughs> okay, this one's just like a lemon floating in space. But check that out. Spelt completely correctly, Matt Vidpro AI. Got this little lemon eyeball. This one's not bad either, just missing the P. And of course, they have that feature where you can build off of them as well. I can remix this and just rerun the same thing. Can't forget about that. That's a really nice feature of Ideogram AI. I really want to try this old one. This was made with Ideogram 0.1, so the first Ideogram. It's doing a lot of caricatures, but that's very, very good. That's scary good, in fact. <laughs> like, are you... You're joking me, right? This is This might cause problems. It's a- it's pretty unrestricted. What if I do Spongebob as a street thug? This one tried to put text on it. Watch out, this is Spongebob the Great. Still almost got it perfect. Definitely- <laughs> definitely a thug Spongebob, absolutely. <laughs> Look at these, dude. <laughs> Alright, now he's hustling Squidward. Okay, Squidward is definitely not a character that this thing can do well, as you can see. This one's not too bad, though. Alright, now we'll say Spongebob robbing the Krusty Krab. I want it to look exactly like a scene from the show. So we'll put it in 4x3. Mm, this one is not working out. It looks like this area of the model's understanding is just really weak, so we just get some bad images. It definitely knows Spongebob and, like, Patrick as a character, but it doesn't understand the Krusty Krab or how to replicate something like this. We want Magic Prompt to be on, so... Okay, as you can see, with Magic Prompt on, things are much better here. At least it says Krusty Krab up here. It might not look exactly like the Krusty Krab. Spongebob looks good, though. This one's not too bad. Mr. Krabs is just something that this thing has no idea about. Alright, let's do this one. I wanted to originally make a tarot card that 
is for Walter White, and he's the one who knocks. So we're going to see if uh, the new model is a lot better. And again, we'll keep ma that magic prompt on because it's so good. Let's give it a shot. Ideogram is going to have a lot of new subscribers for sure. This is a huge release. It's so much better than anything that else they've ever released. And it's super competitive with Mid Journey. It's super competitive with Dolly 3. And apparently it's also competitive with the upcoming Stable Diffusion 3. These are awesome, dude. Breaking Bad, it actually spells it correctly. The one who knocks, there he is. Like, that's that's actually cool. You could print this out and make it into a real card, and it would honestly make sense for the most part. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just really, really impressed. So this is a prompt I did with the original ideogram trying to make these two cuddle. Again, this is kind of pushing the limits of what is okay or considered okay. Okay, oh my god, it actually is kind of working pretty well. <laughs> it's just, it doesn't look like either of them there. This one's kind of close. That's pretty good. That, that's pretty funnily good. <laughs> There's Trump cuddling with some random guy. But yeah, you can see like there is actually some scary levels of detail here and realism, I think. Oh yeah, we were, gonna, we were doing these cool like MVP t-shirt designs. Okay, let's try this instead. Okay, wow, these are way better. This one's pretty awesome right here. I like this one as well. Let's just try the raw prompt instead. That auto prompter works so well. It's so quick and snappy and easy to use. Okay, raw prompt. I think that's honestly pretty dang good too. We're going to try out here. Poster for a company that will fill your house with beans. It's 1950s retro style. It's a replication again of a original ideogram prompt I did. This one was pretty good. Obviously, I think the new one will be able to top it. We're going to try with magic prompts on and then off. Oh, it's perfect, guys. Look at this cover one. Fill your house with beans today. I love that so much. <laughs> That's that might be my favorite generation of the day. Fill your house with beans. Okay, this one's not bad. This one's a little bit uh, weird, but we do see the people filled with beans in their house. <laughs> this one's also pretty good. That one's easily the best, though. That's that's amazing. Gosh, dang, this thing is so good, dude. It's so good. And for context, guys, we have to bring this up. Yes, uh, last week, Stable Diffusion 3 was announced, and it's not out yet, but it's going to be out soon, and it will be open source, which is huge. It looks like, in terms of prompt understanding, this model goes toe-to-toe. -to -toe. You can see I was uh, atted about this on Twitter. At Matt Vidpro, check out what Ideogram can do. Yeah, it's got the pin. Spaceman with a tutu on, got the pink umbrella, a little bird with the hat. Exact same thing that Stability AI showed off with Stable Diffusion 3. Again, we have the same thing going on with this wizard. Very, very impressive results. Got the chameleon down here as well. It also got that typical prompt with the dog and the cat, triangle, etc. Correct. But that's no surprise considering what we've already seen from today. I cannot believe I'm about to say this, guys, but it really does appear that Ideogram AI, yes, Ideogram AI is the best AI in terms of prompt understanding and coherence on the market that we have found so far. It's pretty insane at realism too. It's amazing at text. It, it beats Midjourney pretty handily. It beats Dolly 3 pretty handily in my opinion, unless, you know, you're going for certain photorealism. Maybe there's some artistic stuff with Midjourney that you prefer. And they've got a free plan that gives you uh, 100 images per day. That's pretty dang good, too. More you, than you get with Midjourney, more than you get with Dolly 3, except with uh, Dolly 3 access inside of Bing Image Creator, that's entirely free, but you don't get 100 images per day, I don't think, do you? Something like that. Anyways, $8 then US for the basic plan, which I've actually got it pulled up here. I mean, look at the pricing here. This is pretty dang good. You get 16 images per month, 400 prompts per month for $8 a month. And then $20 USD is 4,000 images a month or 1,000 prompts per month. And you have unlimited standard generations as well. Again, you don't get this kind of thing with Midjourney. So yeah, man, that's kind of insane. They don't restrict your rights at all for output either. It's just, that's, that's pretty mind blowing. It's competitive. It's super competitive. Therefore, I think that if you were looking for prompt coherence, guys, Ideogram's the best on the market. It's it's the cheapest. It's also better at text than Midjourney. It's better at prompt understanding than Midjourney. Maybe that sharpness isn't there, but that's that's about it, guys. I, I never thought I would say that, but yeah, here, here we are. Ideogram just kicking it, like absolutely destroying. Now on to Midjourney V7. Apparently, that, that's what we got to see, Midjourney. Keep, get moving. They've got some real work to do. 
Because that's crazy, dude. I'm not worried about OpenAI because I know OpenAI just, you know, releases stuff whenever. They've got all kinds of crazy stuff cooking in the background and stability AI is all open source. So that'll win everything at the end of the day. But man, Ideograms for now got the crown just absolutely out of left field. Again, I'm going to cover the rest of the AI news that we've seen from the past few days as soon as I can. Got some other stuff coming down the road as well. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Subscribe, check out the Twitter, check out the Discord, and I'll see you in the next one.